Hello? Hi, Kenzo. How are you? Okay. Uh, good evening. How's everybody doing this evening? Doing all right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh, so, um, welcome to everybody. Uh, on behalf of uh, the Board of Trustees, uh, our head of school, Mr. John Hopman. Uh, so yeah, tonight we're going to recognize, you know, some of our standout performers uh, from, the, from this year, but we're also going to celebrate SEMA uh, and just what an incredible year it's been uh, for, for, for everyone involved. Excuse me. Um, as the school year comes to a close, it's, it's natural for us to reflect on, on the year that was. And I think uh, this year presented challenges that, that none of us were prepared to face. Um, in, the, in the coaching realm, you know, we always talk about you know, to our teams and to our players, you know, the importance of what it means to, to overcome adversity. Uh, however, us as a staff, uh, I think we were all dealing with a lot of the same emotions that you all were dealing with. Um, uncertainty, confusion, anger, frustration, doubt. Uh, we were quite fortunate as a staff that we have um, an exceptional coach of our own uh, that we can lean on. And uh, Coach Tony Hernandez, basically reminded us the same thing that we tell a lot of you guys over and over again. Control the things that you can control. Uh, so in the end, us as coaches and staff, we were responsible for our energy, our attitude, and effort every day. Uh, at such a pivotal time in the history of the SEMA program, uh, we as a staff had to trust the process. Uh, we had to put faith in the work at, that not only that we were doing, but also the work that so many others before us had done. Uh, we had to rediscover our belief in the SEMA program. Uh, deep down, we recognized that this was the right thing to do uh, because that's what SEMA needed, uh, but we also knew that this is what the SEMA program deserved. Uh, we accepted the challenge that Coach Hernandez gave us, and in turn, we basically asked the same thing of you guys. The collective response from this group of young men under such difficult circumstances was incredible. Absolutely incredible. You made sure that SEMA endured. All right? You demonstrated the resilience that that team building session is basically designed and built upon. Okay? You reminded us that the future of SEMA is in very capable hands. And for that, I say thank you. Uh, to the parents, uh, I think I speak for all of us and I say that we owe you a debt of gratitude for all your continued support. Uh, to the staff, I will never be able to effectively convey what it is that you've done this year, never. On behalf of the students, the families, and the alumni of the SEMA program, I say thank you. Okay. And without further ado, let's get to the awards. Good evening, everyone. How are we all doing today? I'm doing well. So, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lucas Marchetti. Um, I'm a first year coach here in the SEMA program. And as a person who always wondered what it was like to be part of the SEMA program from the outside, it really didn't disappoint. In my first year working with this tremendous program, I am grateful to have learned so much from some of the hardest working individuals in soccer and for making me feel welcome into such a great program. So I thank you guys for that. 
And I also want to thank my team because this season I had the privilege to coach a special group known as SEMA Youth. A group of young individuals that for many of them was their first year in the SEMA program. And I'm proud to see the growth on the field as players for each and every single one of them and as well as the growth of people off the field. So thank you boys for a great year. With that being said, every player brought their own special element to the group, but there are three individuals that I would like to highlight tonight. First, I would like to start with the SEMA Coaches Award. The SEMA Coaches Award is an award that goes to the student athlete who demonstrates the values of SEMA on a daily basis. This student athlete demonstrated the values of respect, passion, and determination on a daily basis, both on and off the field. I am proud to present the recipient of the SEMA Youth Coaches Award for the 2022-2023 season is DJ Matthews. Next, we move on to the Eagle Leadership Award. The Eagle Leadership Award is an award that is given to a student athlete who demonstrates unique leadership quality. This student athlete showed throughout the year, through his competitive drive, discipline, and his willingness to learn why he is a leader for his group. I am proud to present the recipient of the SEMO Youth Eagle Leadership Award for the 2022-2023 season is Gianni Luis Morini. Finally, the Most Valuable Player Award. The Most Valuable Player does not necessarily signify who is the best player on the team. This student athlete's qualities of high intensity, great energy, young leadership, and competitive nature are what make him a very valuable asset to the SEMA Youth Group. That is why it's my privilege to present the recipient of the SEMA Youth MVP for the 2022-2023 season, it's Charlie Anderson. So once again, I just want to leave off by saying I'm very proud of what the SEMA Youth Group has done in their first year in the SEMA program, and I can't wait to see how far they go. And now I'm going to pass it along to Coach David Graydon for SEMA Junior. I wish I would have went first after that. Thanks, Lucas. Good evening, everyone. My name is Coach Graydon. I would like to give a brief thank you to my colleagues over here. Nobody understands the hard work that they put in every single day to make this program a success. It's truly an honor to be a part of the team. Your preparation, your care, and your professionalism are all what makes this program tick. I would also like to thank the players of SEMA Elite and SEMA Junior who I got to coach this year. It was a true honor. Lastly, to the seniors, it goes fast. Enjoy the ride. Stay humble, work hard, and never get bored of success. Now I'll go into giving my awards. For the SEMA Coaches Award, Giovanni Maricini.
for my Eagle Award, Jude Becker. And last but not least, my MVP, Landon Buhlman. Thank you. Well, um, my name is uh, Carlos Pedraza. Um, I think the rookies, the two last coaches, put the standard of the speech is really high. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm really happy to be here one more time. Um, really nervous as well as the first time. It's, uh, it's an incredible year for us. Many transitions, many changes, but we are here showing who we are. And I feel like we reply our idea pretty well. I have to say that I'm really proud to be part of this stuff. For me, the best staff of coaches in the country. And I mean, it's really emotional to me after everything that happened that we are still here and we are still together. So um, welcome to the people that is uh, facing this process for the first time. And uh, for the people that is returning back, welcome back. Um, <laughs> so uh, for the group of SEMA uh, uh, Junior Academy, um, I have to say that I would like to give an award for every single thing that we, that we did this year. We had many battles on the field against many, many teams. We, we have many, many changes, but at the same time, we show resilience every single time. We show like a really good energy all the time. So for me, it's, it's not fair to give only three awards. I feel like we should give so many. Um, unfortunately, I have only three, so I'm going to start with the coaches' award. Coaches' award is for the top scorer of the team, Legion Snyder. The Eagle Award of this year is for Felipe Siqueira. The MVP of the year is for Daniel Considera.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Coach Jimenez. I'm running my fifth year here. And this year has been amazing. And we go through a difficult moment, no? Uh, then, thanks families, players, and staff for this year. You and us made it through a difficult year. But you trust on us, provoke us to move forward to finalize the school year properly. Maybe we didn't do perfect, but we asked to the, ki as we asked to the kids to do all with your best. We, we gave more than 100%. Why did we do? Because we trust in our process. We, we trust in SEMA process. We trust that SEMA process is the right process to develop your kids through the next journey that is college level. The life, that's the most important thing for us. Then, Coaches Award for Junior Elite, Marco Franco. Eagle Award, Parker Simpkins. <laughs> MVP. Ryan Sterling. Coach Neira, please. Good evening. Coach Kevin, this never gets easy, eh? No. Well, I wanted to share some words with you guys. Um, I hope I can get through this. Today, I stand before you to share some news. After spending almost six years in the SEMA program, I have decided to take a different path. This was a very tough decision, but I'm confident that it's the right one for me and my family at this time. This past year has been very challenging for all of us, but it has also been a time of growth and learning. The adversity we face has taught us important lessons about resilience, determination, and the power of a positive mindset. These lessons will stay with us for life and serve as a foundation for future success. I want to take a moment to express my deep gratitude to the entire SEMA staff for their amazing support throughout my journey. From the coaches to the administrative team, everyone has been incredibly kind, patient, and encouraging. I couldn't have asked for a better team of mentors to help me grow and develop as a person and coach. I also want to give a special mention to the goalkeepers. You guys have been a very important part of my life for the last few years. I'm so happy to see where you guys are going with your life. I'm so happy to see how much you guys have grown. I've seen you guys going from middle school, some guys from pre-academy all the way up to high school. I'm just very proud to see how much you guys have advanced 
And I, you guys, I encourage you to keep going. It has been an honor to train with you and learn from you. I have made lifelong friendships, and I will cherish the memories of our time together. The CIMA program has provided an exceptional environment for us to learn and grow. The facilities, resources, and coaching staff are second to none. And believe me when I say, we give our best every day on the field to deliver the best for you guys. Every day, it doesn't matter. It could rain, sunny, we're gonna be there to help you, to mentor you in the field and in the classroom with the goal to make you a better student, a better person, a better athlete. <clears throat> I want to express my heartfelt thanks to SEMA for the opportunities, support, and guidance that I have received during my time here. I will always treasure the memories and friendships that I have made, and I wish SEMA and Montbert Academy all the best for the future. Thanks. Now we can proceed with the awards. Coach Diego, please come over. So this year, man, I wish I could give you guys a award for everybody. You all have worked very hard. You have proved yourself in the field, in the classroom, and you pushed through adversity like nobody else did. But we got to choose three guys, and I'm very proud of the process. I'm very proud of how you guys have developed throughout the years, and honestly, I can't wait to see where your career is gonna take you. For the Coaches Award this year, it goes to Ita Nazario. The Eagle Award this year goes to Brayden Long. Last but not least, the MVP this year goes to Mateo Sosa. Thank you. So I'm here again to 
present the awards for uh, the CIMA Academy. I want to say thanks to the CIMA Gold Team, which I had the opportunity to work with in the first semester. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity, of course, to the CIMA Academy players. I wish you the best in your journey. It's going to be a good one for sure. So let's go with the awards. Um, the coaches award is going to be for a really a special player. He show one of our values, which is resilience. He only had the opportunity to play two games last season. And he had a good potential, and he showed a good potential at the beginning of the year. For me, it was special to have the opportunity to, to be his coach for the last three, four months, because last year he didn't have the opportunity to play. So Antonio Casse, you are... The Eagle Award of this year in the CIMA Academy is for a player that is going to repeat next year, Matt Lim. The MVP of the year is going to be for Mikel Iniesta. Thank you so much. For Simeli, uh, as Coach Carlos said to Academy, the real life has started now. You have to be ready to, to the life, to be in your college, to be in your place by yourself, to deal with your stuff by yourself, to deal with your coach by yourself. This is a real life. Hopefully, we can help. We can give you a lot of advices, a lot of information to give you all the resources to deal with that by yourself. This is the real life, guys. Coaches Award, Osmond Chan.
Eagle Award, Constantino Constantini. MVP, Wesley Siegel. Coach Dom. I'd like to start off by, by thanking the SEMA staff. Um, it's been a turbulent year. Um, there would be no one else that I want to my left or to my right side through this time uh, to see us through. Thank you guys. You've been great. Your family, I love you guys. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'll start by taking a moment to extend my heartfelt congratulations to all SEMA student athletes gathered here tonight. You have all demonstrated remarkable resilience and perseverance in the face of a turbulent year. And I'm in awe, I'm in awe of your strength and dedication. To Seema Gold, despite the many challenges that have come your way this year, you all managed to stay focused and committed to your goals. And as a result, you have made this year a success. Your unwavering spirit and determination have truly paid off, and I am honored to be your coach and to celebrate your achievements. Congratulations again to all SEMA student athletes. You have truly made this a year to remember, and I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve great things in your future. Coaches Award. So the Coaches Award, I came across, we crossed paths more, more or less about 10 years ago when the boy was yay big. And now he's yay big. Never knew that our paths would cross this way. He's the captain of the team, Mohamed Sisse. The Eagle Award for leadership. This boy is bigger than life, but his heart is just as big. Pop Marp Boy.
the MVP award. When you see this boy play, he just floats with the ball. He makes everyone else around him that much better. Abdul Wahabu. Thank you. Uh, okay, so yeah, those were the um what we refer to as our, our SEMA awards. Uh, so the, the next set of awards, which I think people sometimes forget that Montford Academy is a school, uh, and they field a boys varsity and junior varsity soccer team. All right, so the awards that we're basically gonna use or recognize, these, these, these next in, uh, award winners are basically from our high school component uh, that, that basically came from uh, the match we played representing Montford Academy and FHSA uh, competition at the junior varsity and varsity level. So the junior varsity uh, most improved player this year goes to Noah LaCroix. Okay, and the Junior Varsity Eagle Award uh, for this year goes to Legion Snyder. And the Junior Varsity uh, Most Valuable Player goes to Daniel Considera. Okay, so we have a few more other awards for varsity uh, for this year. So we have a Team Spirit Award. So the Team Spirit Award for this year's varsity season goes to Mason Shale. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, Mason had a family commitment and couldn't make it this evening, but Andrew took his place, so thank you, Andrew. Uh, so the, we have an Unsung Hero Award. So the Unsung Hero uh, for the 2022-23 varsity season goes to Mikel Iniesta.
So the most improved player for the varsity team this year is Matthew Pardiek. Uh, the next award is our Varsity Scholar Award. All right, so the Varsity Scholar Award for this year for the 2022 varsity season is Zachary Spangler. The next award is the Director's Award. Um, uh, so the Director's Award for the varsity team this year in 2022-23 is Osmond Chan. Our final award is the MVP for the varsity season. Uh, this year's MVP uh, is Wesley Siegel. Okay, so these, these last two awards are, are, are for me, are, are pretty significant, okay? Um, as a lot of the coaches have said, uh, it, it feels a bit unfortunate, you know, to basically only have a handful of individuals receive awards because, you know, like I said, for us and what the men, these young men that we've worked with over the course of the year, um, we've just seen some, some tremendous growth uh, from every one of them. Uh, and for me, like I said, yeah, they all deserve to be recognized. Uh, however, these next two awards are, are, are significant. Um, because they, they, they represent basically maybe a little bit more, you know, and I think the one thing that we kind of found on this program on was basically kind of this, this mantra of the person, the student, and the athlete, all right? And um, this next award, the uh, SEMA Student Athlete of the Year, basically personifies that, okay? Um, we're all very, very passionate about the game of football. Uh, it's very, very important to us, uh, but we, we want them to basically aspire to be more. You know, more than just uh, this, this young man that is a whiz on the ball or is a whiz in the goal or, or what have you. Uh, we, we want them to have a, a greater impact, you know, in their community. So Montverde Academy also has a motto, uh, knowledge, character, community. You know, so when we discuss some of these awards in the office, we're like, okay, you know, who represents Montverde Academy? You know, who represents SEMA? Who basically has, you know, these, these values when we do our team building exercises? Who epitomizes each and every one of these values uh, that we feel will be representative of, of what we want, you know, a young man from SEMA to be. Uh, and this year's uh, Student Athlete of the Year goes to Mateus de Sosa.
so this, this next award we, we started last year. Um, I have to admit that I kind of championed this award and wanted this to kind of recognize someone or some or individuals in particular that just that had an impact on Montford Academy and specifically on an impact on the SEMA program. Um, but more so of an extended period of time. Uh, no offense, but it's, it's one thing to have, you know, one good year. Uh, but it's another thing to kind of su sustain a level of excellence over a period of time. And in doing so, you tend to leave a legacy. All right, so we have this legacy award that we decided to put together. Uh, so last year's award winners were a couple of young men that are, that are near and dear to my heart, but I think a lot of us, uh, and it was, it was Max and Sid Hartman. Because again, you know, they, they joined the Montford Academy uh, and SEMA program in, in, in ninth grade. And they, they, they were, there was a level of commitment that I think we, none of us had ever really seen, you know, but we saw it every day for four years. And I think if you see them now, they're, they're still the same young men, you know, but again, that, le that legacy and the example that they set is, is something that, like I said, we're tremendously proud for, but we wanted to recognize and we wanted to honor. So we continue with the award. Uh, so this year we have a recipient that I think continues with that legacy. Um, it's someone that uh, is selfless, uh, that gives of themselves, um, but again, it's it's consistent. You know, uh, they don't really have maybe some of the ebbs and flows that a lot of us kind of suffer from. Uh, you know, one of the things that Coach Hernandez always stressed is we wanted to have this high performance program. Well, this individual, uh, yeah, I would say they they definitely uh, are, are a high performing individual. Okay, so um, we know at SEMA, sure, the staff works with young men every day. All right, but we have teachers, we have house parents, we have administrators. Uh, there's a lot of other people on our team that have a massive, massive impact on these young men, all right? And this year's award winner, I, it's very difficult to kind of put into words her, 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 her impact, so to speak, uh, on, on what she means to SEMA, uh, to all these young men, but also our staff, okay? Uh, and she just, she's just who she is. She's genuine, she's honest, she's fantastic. Uh, this year's SEMA Legacy Award goes to Bree Sanchez. Okay, so um, Very good. So Montford Academy, uh, in all intents and purposes, is a college preparatory school. Um, whether it's lower school, middle school, or upper school, uh, ultimately, uh, these young men and young women, uh, their, their goal is to, to graduate from this, this institution and, and transition and matriculate to a college university of their choice, okay? And that's, that's, that's kind of who we are, that's what we do, okay? Um, so each year, or each uh, period, fall, winter, and, and, and spring, we have a, a signing ceremony uh, for our seniors that are getting ready to go on to, uh, they've committed to their school and university. Uh, so we had one in April, I think it was last month, uh, but we had a couple of young men that weren't able to t participate in the signing ceremony. So we're gonna recognize those two young men now. So if Osmond Chan and Ethan Nemchek will come join me on stage.
So yeah, this is our impromptu ceremony. Uh, Ethan's going to be joining the roster at Mercer University uh, in this upcoming fall, and Osmond Chan is going to be joining a couple of alumni, or one particular alumni, Matthew, who's there, uh, and, and Sean Lee as well at, at Eastern University in Pennsylvania. So congratulations, gentlemen. Okay, so I think a few of our coaches have kind of mentioned it, and it's, I think you, you, you've heard kind of this, this, this narrative, you know, of how, um, how fortunate we are to do what we do. Uh, we're, we have a, a very, very impressive uh, school and program, or excuse, you know, excuse me, school, that, that institution that, that sponsors us and allows us to kind of do something in, in terms of supporting our, our efforts to be coaches and, 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 and be a part of these, these journey. You know, of these young men. So, uh, definitely very, very fortunate. I will. Um, Coach Patron was kind of talking about how, you know, you you meet a young man when he's you know so high, and then all of a sudden you meet him. You know, was it ten years later or something like that thereabouts? And there is a similar similar uh, story that I I will share at this time real quick. So, um, my very first time here at Montford Academy was in 2010. Uh, most some people have heard this story. Uh, I was coaching college soccer, so I was down here recruiting. And um, this was a long time ago, so I'm going to go ahead and date myself. So there was no GPS, so I had my map quest that I printed out, and I was kind of following the directions around Lake Apopka. It was really dark. So I'm winding through these roads, and I'm worried about where I'm going to go, and I see the lights on the other side of the lake. I'm like, oh, the athletic complex. But, like, the baseball field wasn't there. The tennis courts weren't done, uh, but the, the, the soccer field was there. So it's really, really cold in Florida in January, which happens, like, you know, once or twice a year. And I'm watching this game, and I... It's nothing like I've ever seen. Uh, and like I said, the SEMA program at the time didn't exist. It was just a high school team. Uh, so anyhow, uh, this game goes on. It's really, really impressive. Ended up recruiting a couple of kids. Uh, but that was my first stop here at Montford Academy. But there was a, a junior on the field, this Irish guy. He was just kind of buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. And I'm like, this guy is kind of a mess. And it was David Graydon. Okay? And here we are. Um, 13 years later, whatever it is now, and we're working together on the same staff. So um, as Coach Patron said, like, you just, you just don't know where life is going to take you. Like, you really, really don't. Um, but like I said, we are very, very fortunate to do what we do, to have the support that we have. Um, so gentlemen, um, like I said, yeah, we're, we're all very fortunate, you know, so, so count, count your blessings. Um, we'll, we'll embarrass a few more people before we get out of here. Um, I definitely want to recognize one of our, our, our special guests, and that's Danny Poe. All right, so yeah, D Danny was a tremendous asset for us, and uh, he, he definitely had a decision to make that was in the best interest of him and his family, and we're, we're thrilled, thrilled for him and, and everything that he's basically done thus far. Um, but the allure and the attraction of, of, of SEMA is, is pretty strong, and, and we'll reel you in if, if you're not careful. So glad to have Danny back, uh, and again, like I said, to be a part of this, this celebration, which is exactly what it is, it's a celebration of SEMA. It's a celebration of an incredible year. Um, so like I said, thank you very much, Danny, for, for taking the time to join us on, on this, this special occasion. Uh, and then the, the last one that, I, that I'll recognize is, uh, is, is Christian Nader.
Yeah, so like, so obviously we're gonna have to uh, say goodbye to Christian for the time being. We'll do what we can to try to get him to come back down, but we'll see. But uh, he's he's been a a, a a true blessing to uh, to Montverde Academy and to SEMA. Uh, I think you know we kind of I was talking to a a college coach actually th today, uh, and I was like you know we've got to we've got to find another goalkeeper coach because we've got to replace Christian in these 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 large lofty shoes that he's he's gonna he's gonna leave behind. Uh, so we were kind of joking and kind of laughing about, you know, how difficult it is because he's actually in a similar situation. He's got to find another goalkeeper coach as well for his program. Um, but, yeah, I feel like it was we were we were fortunate in, the, in just how he kind of landed here. He was he was kind of fresh out of college and uh, somehow the, the, they, he found us and we found him and it, it just kind of blossomed into something really, really special. You know, but for me, he's been uh, a trusted friend, uh, a loyal colleague. And you know, like I said, we're definitely going to miss him. Uh, but we're excited for him and his family because, like I said, everybody has to start a new chapter at some point in time. And for sure, he deserves his opportunity. So thank you, Christian. All right, so now I need my seniors to stand up. Seniors. Okay. So, um, obviously this is a, a, a very, very exciting time of year for you and, a, and a, just a, a tremendous week. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the beach today. I'm glad you made it back. Um, but yes, congratulations on, on everything. And congratulations on, like I said, what's gonna be, to be a very, very special week. Um, I did this a while back when I started coaching in college and it kind of got me into some trouble a little bit, but I would always coach really, really hard. And they're like, well, why do you coach so hard? I was like, I coach for the seniors because this is, this is the end for them. You know, the freshmen, the sophomores, the eighth and ninth, like they'll, they'll be fine, but these guys, their hourglass is, is running out. You know, so th this year is, is so, so important to them. So I thank you for all your hard work and dedication. Uh, like I said, we, we, we wish you all the best, like I said, in your future endeavors. Uh, and, and, and the legacy that we spoke about with, with Brees, the, the legacy is the alumni. It is Diego. It is David. Like, you are the legacy. You are the reason why SEMA does what it does. So again, continue to do the things that you've always done, all right, and the lessons that you've always learned. And congratulations again. Okay, I think that's uh, the, the, the end of my notes. But um, again, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. Uh, like I said, it's, it's been a special, special night to recognize uh, all that SEMA is. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a really, really special program to me and to, to pretty much everyone in here. Uh, so I thank you very much for joining us on this occasion and have a wonderful evening.